guys we finally got the G5 put back together and we got the case all nice and polished up and you can see we have that nice Apple logo light lit up there and it came out really good pretty easy mod to do they should have did that originally on these things but anyway yeah so it came out really good uh, runs fantastic runs very very cool now after I repasted the CPU, the GPU, and the uh, bridge on it. And Smirky, she approves of it. She's very fascinated with it there. She says, I've never seen a white one of these before. But anyway, so yeah, it, uh, it was a good uh, little project. Like I said, we had that unfortunate incident where when we got it, the outer case front bezel was all busted to smithereens as you saw it in the photos as I posted on the uh, YouTube forum and it's uh, you know we went through a lot to uh, to get that cover looking good probably took me a total of about eight hours unstopped I had to stop a lot of times during the week I'm kind of really slow getting this uh, video out because I had a lot of personal things come up in life here but uh, yeah, you can see we're all working wirelessly here. The wireless keyboard works fantastic. And uh, I know a lot of you don't like the Magic Mouse, but you know what? I like them. They're okay. They might not be the most perfectly ergonomical mouse, but I like them. I'm used to them. You get lots of features that you can have on these that you do not have on a conventional mechanical two-button mouse. Uh, now, a lot of the Logic Tech Pro mice, they're pretty nice too, but I like this. I like the Magic Keyboard. And of course, on the iMac, I have the extended Magic Keyboard. I would only say the only criticism on this is they put the charging port underneath here on the mouse. And it would have been much better if they could have did it on the end. That way, you could uh, still use it. Uh, the keyboard, you can plug it in. You can still use that. And it works pretty good. But anyway, guys. So, yeah. So, um, future plans is I've got... Uh, leopard on it i did all the upgrades all the things that you can possibly put on it and then i've got that uh, original drive that came in it what i need to do is archive that drive because there's a lot of unique applications on that thing i plan on moving some of them on here not all of them but i'm gonna get this uh more like you know like on my cube um, i have iLife on it i'm gonna Put a higher version of iMovie on this. I'm going to upgrade a higher version of Safari on it. You can get a little higher version of Safari on it. I'll put the 104 tube on it and I'm going to uh, go with a different browser too. I'll do the same one that I have on my cube there. I'll have to sync this iTunes to my music library so I can move all my music onto this thing too. It sounds really good. But yeah, she it runs nice and cool. Uh, that light just really looks so nice. Um, let me turn the big light off here. See it a little bit better there in all its glory there. And Jay from House of Moth, I hope you approve of that light again. I did not put an RGB light in it. I just went with a standard white LED 2 millimeter. It came out pretty darn good. And as you can see here, we just turn this here. And yeah, we can put this nice IR remote on there. Now, I don't have any batteries in this thing. Uh, the batteries are not working on it, but I did not impede where that light is. The IR remote will work just fine. And it just kind of sticks right there, just like that. Now, the only bad thing about those, there's a magnet on the inside of the case that holds it on there. But the only bad thing about that is, is um, you know, you got to be careful with it because if you keep moving around and taking them off and on over the years, that area actually gets scratched up because of that uh, remote. So generally, I'll, I'll leave it off of it. But I just want to show you guys that uh, it does have a magnet in there, and it was designed to hold that on. That way you don't lose it. And it just comes right off, and we'll just put it right up here. along. With it. And also... Um, on my iMac here, this G5, I'm going to keep it covered with this. Uh, this was made just for the white iMacs. And for
for the 20 inch models. And it was a company called Got You Covered. They're no longer in business. About 10 years ago, I bought all of the rest of his inventory because I had some Macs that I wanted to cover when I had a bigger collection. And so I bought them. And fortunately, this is the only one that I got. And I used to have that on my white 2006 iMac. I no longer have that one. I got rid of that one a long time ago. So it fits perfectly on that. Keeps it looking good. Keeps the screen fingerprints off the screen. Dust off of it. I like to keep all my computers covered up. That's just personal preference. Less work in the long run. Helps keep the environment off of them. Keeps the dust off of them. Uh, inhibits the UV a little bit. Not all the way. A little bit. Because it still penetrates. But, like I said, keeps them looking good. And too bad that company is not running anymore because I would uh, get some more. But anyway, so yeah, so just an advice for you guys. Uh, if you ever run across a, a cover uh, that's made for these older 20 inch iMacs, get one because uh, they're great. But, like but you can see uh, Safari opens up right to the uh, Apple homepage here. And uh, now my internet's not the fast, it's, it's only uh, on a good day with a nice tailwind, 18 meg download, and only just barely one megabyte upload. It's pretty miserable. But uh, hopefully we'll be getting the 5G service in our area, and this town is on copper. There is some fiber optic, but they don't want to put the money into a uh, fiber optic system, so they're migrating slowly totally to wireless. So with the 5G network set up, you can get some pretty, pretty amazing speed out of that network. So hopefully that's going to be coming not too far in the distant future. And then we're also waiting for that long awaited iMac. Now, you know, we have the 24 inch when it came out, but I'm waiting for June to see if they came out with the pro version of that, because I might just go with the pro version instead. We'll see. If not, I'll go with the other iMac. So you guys have a good rest of your week. And don't forget about this Sunday, which is a very, very important day, which is Mother's Day. So I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell for all the future updates. We are on MeWe and we are on Twitter. You can reach out to me on those two platforms there. I check on those several times during the week. And until the next video, you guys have a great rest of your week. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.